What's up everyone? It's been 10 days since we inoculated our bulk substrate with various grains that were colonized by the Piapino mushrooms and I wanted to go over my initial observations from grain onto bulk substrate. So I'm stitching together a complete video analysis. However, I just wanted to release out um, a small clip of the update so far and you can see millet which definitely colonized the grain the fastest is moving along pretty nicely um, my thoughts on this grain are that it has many inoculation points which is a benefit however each one of those points is very small so it takes a while for them to get going but you can see how nice and spread out that grain spawn is and this one should be colonized by the end of the weekend so that was millet. All right, so now I'll go on to rye. So the rye berries are definitely performing the best on bulk substrate. Um, when they're in the grain spawn, they kind of stalled out. So I thought maybe um, they were too dry or something, but then once I put them back onto a bulk substrate, they plumped right back up and this one is definitely the furthest along after 10 days um, so this is all the same strain and the same volume of spawn per block which is a half pint and you can see how well these rye berries are performing so next we'll move on to oats which this is the the grain that these piapino have been growing on since spore this is my grain of choice um, mostly because of the price but you can see it's probably you know c plus b minus middle of the road performance but for the price i'm not too disappointed um, okay so now we'll go on to wheat berries so this one is also outperforming the rest I would say um, possibly tied with with rye so wheat berries which seem to hydrate the best are actually um, colonizing really nicely as well so I'm super excited to see the mushrooms that come out of the wheat I'm still kind of tossing the coin between wheat and rye perhaps a blend of those grains would be really nice but um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens in fruiting, but so far wheat, wheat and rye are one and two pretty close. Um, oats coming in third, and then millet, and then I'll show you guys corn, what's happening with that. So you can see, you know, the size of the grains of corn is pretty large, and that becomes an apparent problem, at least with the volume of spawn that I'm spawning these bags so they're very spread apart um, and that's just because of the nature of the corn it has less surface area however wherever these kernels are colonizing um, they're pretty dense and robust colonies so once all those kind of fuse together it's going to give it a really nice bulk substrate but probably the slowest colonizer out of all of these grains tested Okay guys, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video about the update on the grain spawn project. Like I said, I'll stitch together a full video as soon as these mushrooms fruit out, probably at the end of March. Um, I'm probably going to repeat this process with a few different types of grain. I learned about Milo. Um, I've done wild bird seed in the past. However, it kind of has difficulty um, hydrating properly with all the different types of grain. Um, I also did one jar of maitake that had a blend of millet and um, rye, which I was told um, promotes really good growth with maitake, so that one's actually colonized. Um, I could do a more in-depth video on that as soon as we get some fruits. Um, maitake takes a really long time, so I'm still figuring that one out, um, but I'll post results whenever we get that so 
stay tuned, subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. Um, it's going to get really busy really quickly, but I'm trying to keep up with my cultures. And as soon as we get our new strains from our breeding project, I have all of those different phenotypes um, already QC'd on liquid culture. So as soon as we find a winner, I'm going to release those and also do a selected amount of G1 slant cultures from those phenotypes. So a lot going on right before the farmer's market season, but I'm getting really excited for this year. We're gonna be building out our building. Um, it's been delayed a little bit because of the weather. And you know, whenever you're building something, expect it to take twice as long as what you initially planned. So I'm not trying to rush through things, but it's going to be a very busy summer and I'll try to keep up with um, releasing these new strains as we figure out which ones are the best in the fruiting chamber. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, subscribe, and until next time, much love.